regular order the public works meeting. Uh, quick roll call. Um, Alderperson Ackley? Here. Uh, I'm here. Alderperson Phillips? Don't see Rose. Uh, Alderperson Sabaglio? Present. Oh, Rose just got on? Okay. We got Rose on there. And Alderperson Sorensen? Here. Okay. Uh, we'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alrighty. Uh, we'll start right off with uh, approval of the minutes from January 26th. Move to approve the minutes. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the minutes. Is there any discussion on those minutes? All righty. Uh, all in favor of approving Aye. those minutes? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Minutes are approved. All righty. We'll start right out with 3.1. And we're going to make 3.1 and 3.4 through, through 3.4. All We're going to run those all together. So, Ryan, you want to start us off? Yeah, um, items 3.1 through 3.4 uh, are related to easements for building mini storm sewers. I know at committee I've talked before, uh, we install mini storm sewers in backyards to help alleviate uh, people's drainage problems, standing water in their backyards. And last year, four mini storm sewers were constructed in these four different neighborhoods. Okay. And this year is just giving the uh, committee approval to, to, to have these easements recorded at the courthouse. Okay. Yeah, but these 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 minis were were installed last August and September. Okay. okay. I'll move for approval uh, for three point one through three point four. Motion made. Still have a second for me. <laughs> Motion been made and seconded. <laughs> Is there any discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, that carries. Uh, 3.5, resolution, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract for the construction of the Kiwanis Park Trail Extension. Okay. Is that you or Joe or? Oh, I can. Um, two years ago, the Department of Public Works and the Planning Department, we had a master plan uh, developed for Kiwanis Park. Uh -huh. And part of the, there's different, uh, there's different stages of construction for this for this master plan. So what we did is we took some uh, community development block grant funding, and one portion we're going to do is the extension of a bike and pedestrian trail through Kiwanis Park along 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 the Sheboygan River. And so we we, we went out the bid earlier in the year, and these are the bids to to accept that the construction of that um, of the of the bike and ped trail. Okay. Again, yeah. it's all being done through community development block grant funding through the. Through that's the running. Park. That's basically just running through the park. It's not really. Even, it's, um, yes, yes, it is. Yes. Okay. It's all. It's all. It's all in the park. Okay. Um, can I just ask one quick? Why didn't you extend it all the way to New Jersey right away? Because isn't that kind of part of the park, or not really, or is it just? That'll, that'll be the second phase. We, that'll be second we, phase. We, we, okay. Yeah, we have a design for this first phase and design for the second phase. It's a funding issue, is what okay. it was. Okay. Okay. But Great. it's a start. Okay. I'll move for approval. Motion made by Ryan. Is there a second? Second. Motion made by Ryan, second by Rose. Any other discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, 3.6, resolution 162-2021, document 7.1, res resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into an agreement with Sheboygan Athletic Club Incorporated regarding the operation and management of Wildwood Baseball Park. Joe. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to point out there's a few representatives from the Sheboygan Athletic Club, Denny Moyer okay. and Andrew Villietti. Okay. And there may even be on the, on the link, uh, Scott Stengel. I believe he was going to try to to also be virtual. See him on currently, but that's okay. fine. And oh, is he? Oh, just, he's on now. Okay. Yeah. And on. I know okay. Denny would like to speak afterwards, okay. uh, say a few things. Um, first of all, um, we've been the city's been 
in an agreement with the Sheboygan uh, A's since the early 80s, 1980s. Um, I've had the pleasure of, of working with Denny and his crew for the last eight years, and um, when I say a pleasure, I really mean it. Denny set the tone right away where, Joe, what can we do together to provide, provide something really neat for the city? It's never been, what can the city do for us? So Denny, I appreciate that. Um, so it's, it's been a, a great partnership. This is gonna be a 10-year uh, a term, much like the last, last agreement, with 10 additional terms, um, yearly terms after that. So uh, during those last 10-year terms, if someone wants to make changes or terminate, they would just need to write the other um, uh, group a, a letter by July 1st. So um, other than that, there are several just small things that have changed, uh, nothing big. Uh, in 2014, there was an amendment to the agreement that was included in this uh, a pres agreement before you tonight. Uh, public health um, guidelines, verbiage, which we're starting to do more and more now, haven't been included. Um, the public address system, um, they, they used to have to be done with the announcements by 10, 10 p.m. They asked for 10.15 just to, to make it a little cleaner so that they can make sure they're, they're done for the evening. Um, we've defined maintenance responsibilities just a little bit more. Um, we really did put a lot of time into this on both sides. Um, we've, we've um, you know, we outlined damage. If the, the park is ever so severely damaged, let's take an example, you know, um, Fountain Park almost last summer was so severely damaged we had to ask the um, the farmers market not to be there for a couple of weekends, something like that. You know, who's um, what's the process? How do we go about it? You know, if, if if it's not if it's a hazard for them to operate, of course we're not going to make them. You know, and then the city um, um, city can try to um, um, uh, construct the park again. So things like that. Um, Let's see, um, one thing that's been in here that really hasn't, we haven't done for a long time, things kind of morph over time. Um, we no longer take care of the restrooms. We provide the materials, the toilet paper, things like that, but we don't do a daily cleaning of their restrooms. And that outlines a little bit better um, in the new agreement. Um, they now, in, in the amendment, they had the ability to work with like the um, school, high school, when they, their games came in. So far, we've been prepping their fields, but they've had the ability to also do it and then ask for compensation. So we outlined that a little bit more too. And they're gonna start doing that more. So that'll be a relief off of my department. Um, any improvements made, they'll need to notify um, the city. Used to be $1,000, we've gone up to two, uh, 2,500. And insurance, they're putting a lot of investment into the, into the facility. I mean, the last three years, they've done the lights. It was a $500,000 project. Um, they did a party deck. I think that was 160 or something like that. Uh, so a lot, have, a lot have been going into the, the, the ballpark. And they just wanted to make sure that the city is, you know, is insuring and that um, if they ever need that insurance money, if something happens, that it will go back into the park. So that's been outlined also. So um, I, it's, it's been a pleasure again working with them and I, I hope that we can pass this along to the city council for recommendation tonight. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Boyer. I don't know if anybody in this room remembers 1980. Probably a yes, I do. <laughs> I, I but do that's not. A, <laughs> I do. <laughs> that is really when our relationship with the city began. Uh, there was a lot of talk, a lot of hassling going back and forth about building a new ballpark. And the city did it. And we helped a little bit. We raised about $35,000 for it. And ever since then, we've been working together. And I think it's been a good relationship. It certainly has been on our part. And we've, we've done our share. We've done a lot of, a lot of improvements out there, more than a million and a half dollars worth. And every year we uh, we just do our thing. Um, wanted to say a couple of things. First of all, 
Your park is being used. Andrew's going to pass out some schedules. The, uh, this year there's going to be 79 games there between the high schools and the Legion and the Sheboygan A's. Three tournaments and three special youth events. So there's a lot going on. And uh, the A's, uh, page two on this thing, the A's are going to play about 80, 75 games this year in the tournaments and everything else. So we have a, a marvelous program uh, from the youth all the way up. And uh, we, we, we'd really like to see this contract passed, and, and it's, it's a good thing for all our parts. The other thing I have is um, to let you know that we're not just a group of guys that like baseball, but the community is pretty much behind us. And I brought some of our programs along tonight to let you see how much support we get from, from, from huge industries all the way down to the corner taverns and grocery stores and things. So it's a community program. and. Uh, we feel we deserve your, your support and your recognition, and we're happy to, to keep working with you. If anybody has any questions on our, our program or, or this contract? I don't have any questions. I just want to just say one thing. It's, uh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm very pleased with this. I, I, this is a great partnership for the city. It's, 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 I think it's wonderful. Um, baseball, I'm, I'm a huge awesome. baseball fan, so that's always been my passion Thanks. anyway. So, but I, I think it's, it's great what you guys are doing, and I'm glad that, that uh, you, you, the, you work so well with Joe and with the, with the city crews and everything like that, and uh, I, I'm fully in support of this. So. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm very in support of this as well, too, and I appreciate all that you guys have done for the community. Just a quick question. You noted that announcements, um, the extension is till 10.15. Correct now. For announcements to end, was was that? I, I just want to make sure the neighbors are aware, just so that they're not calling up and complaining. The ten fifteen. Okay. Okay. And the neighbors are are have been informed about that. Not that they're you know calling the city and or police or anything on that. Just just one of the things we do in the spring hours, we go around and pound down all the doors there and, and tell them we like to be good neighbors and stuff. We give them some season tickets. We can talk about that. Okay, that just just so that they have a heads up. Yeah, I, and I appreciate what you guys all do with community. We've been pretty much show. honoring that. Awesome. I know. I know. One time we didn't. We were in extra innings with Green Bay, and we hadn't beaten them in years. <laughs> so I said, not tonight, please. <laughs> police. Somebody did call. The police officer showed up, and I. Said, just take me away. <laughs> we're not done yet. But otherwise, we're pretty, we're pretty good about this. Awesome. I'll move for approval. Andrew? Second. Motion's been made, made by Ryan, seconded by Marcus. Is there any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye also. That is approved. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, 3.7, resolution 163, 2021, direct referral resolution, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Rebuild It Services Group to replace two clear fire drive units at the wastewater treatment facility. I guess that would be Steve. Yeah, okay, can you hear me all right? Yep, yep you're good. Okay, yeah, so this is kind of a continuation. So far, we've, we've got eight clarifiers, four finals, and four primaries, and we've done one of each so far. Um, as you remember, you might remember, <clears throat> these drives got sand inside them many years ago um, when they sandblasted the metalwork that's under the water of the rake assembly. And because of that, they've, they've had some damage. And um, so what we're doing is we're getting them rebuilt um, through the, this is the, it's, it's not the OEM that's been bought out, but these are the people that work for the current owners. And they are the old people that work for the original equipment manufacturer. And they rebuild them and, and, uh, then install them, and um, we've had real good success with them on the first two. And they're, um, you know, we want to continue because if they go too long, then they, we, they there's a direct replacement, and that's quite a bit more expensive. So as long as we get them rebuilt before there's too much damage, 
Um, we can normally save a lot of money. So this year we lumped, we actually have two projects on the budget. We lumped them together because it's part of the same contract and it saves us quite a bit of money. So I think we had 210000 in the budget and we're looking to come in um, with everything, which includes the uh, touch-up painting and we've got some joint repair on the clarifier um, for about 170 is what we're figuring, 175. So I don't know if anybody has any questions on this. Anyone have anything at all? Any questions? I'll move for approval. Second. Motion's been made by Ryan, seconded by Marcus. Uh, any other discussion on it? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Move to adjourn. Motion to, got a second here. Second. Motion to adjourn. Anyone, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Next meeting date's February 23rd. <laughs> we will see you then.